Okay, so good morning to everyone. Today we're going to have a brief introduction on our first topic, in diving in the IT era. So as uh, <clears throat> as we have discussed last time, living the IT era will focus on how technology, how IT and ICT affects our daily lives. So sabi niya dito, it is a period that has a particular quality or character as we are living in an era in which technology is developing rapidly. And I think you you may, uh, you will agree with me that it is very true because again, um, technology changes, uh, rapidly change our way of life. No, we are very IT dependent now. And today we'll discuss and define uh, and describe the importance of information and communication technology. So today I'll be using this video for you to be for us to have an online synchronous session. So this online synchronous session uh, is one example on how we can use technology, especially in education. So today um, you have your IT week one material with you and then uh, you may answer that or you can answer that uh, material by listening or by watching in this video. OK, so we'll start first with the idea of ICT. So before we start, let's reflect first on the following questions. How many times have you checked your phone this morning? From the time you wake up, how many times you check your Facebook notification, your Instagram notification, or maybe your your messages? Do you see? Uh, at what time do you use the internet mobile? Let's say, for example, from the time you woke up, you, you open your, your Wi-Fi or you open your mobile data and check for that particular notifications. And lastly, who are your ce celebrity or crush that you are actually following in social media? These simple activities are actually dependent to IT or ICT. ICT means um, the use of the different technological inventions like the mobile phone that maybe you're, you're, you're um, using right now, telephones, computer, internet, and other devices, as well as other, and, uh, other software and application to locate, save, send, and manipulate information. ICT is the umbrella. Again, ICT is an umbrella that involves uh, different types of uh, different branches. Let's say, for example, IC, IT or information technology is under ICT. Computer science is also under to, IC, uh, under to ICT. Of course, communication technology, let's say um, electrical engineering, communications engineering, and the likes, they're all under ICT. Our gadgets have become part of our necessity that we check on them after we actually wake up. It also made our communication easier because of the use of mobile phones. You can easily uh, message or chat uh, or send uh, a PM to your to your loved ones or to your friends. Aside from that, um, just like what we're doing right now, ICT can be used to have or to continue um, uh, edu the educational system amidst the pandemic that we 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 have experienced. You know? you you've continued um, learning and um, studying through online lectures, through recorded lectures like this one. It also assists you in your day to day job, let's say or day to day activities like shopping, uh, checking uh, products and services buying from your own favorite online shopping sites and the likes. You know? Hence, information and communication technologies directly affects our day-to-day -day lives. That's why we are considered now as digital native. You know? So when you say digital native, uh, especially you, you know, uh, millennials, uh, especially us millennials, sasama ko na yung sarili ko, uh, we are very much um, uh, in-depth in the use of uh, technology 
to do the task that we usually do. And because of that, ICT help us. This old technology, mobile phones, internet, gadgets, smartphones, smart TVs, allow, allow us to communicate well, to, to communicate better, making our communication limitless and boundless. You can communicate with your um, with your relatives outside the Philippines or any or from any part of the world, even though you're geographically apart. Modern information communication technology have created what we call a global a global village, a global village that encompasses all countries, all parts of the world that uh that that uh, from from the from the uh from the uh limited way to communicate with them like by sending them mails back then by by sending um handwritten letters back then now you can easily do uh um video calls with your friends with your classmates outside the philippines or outside our country or maybe um part of the country that that is uh, geographically apart. Because of this, we create a global village, just like what you're seeing right now on your screen. We, uh, our gadgets are interconnected with it, we, uh, to one another for us to be able to communicate more. Hence, making our communication better, limitless, and boundless. Now, as I mentioned a while ago, under ICT is IT. So IT refers to anything related to computing technology, such as the way we connect, which is networking, the tangible part of computers or hardware, the applications like softwares, and of course, the information hiding, or what we call the internet. And of course, the most powerful part of, most com powerful component of a computer system, it's people or us, it's users, okay? And because of that, we have the concept of information processing system. Information processing system means that a certain raw data, no, certain raw data can be converted or can be processed into a relative output output known as an uh, known as information. So we'll start first by defining what is data. So data is a collection of independent and unorganized facts. It's like ingredients of a certain uh, food, you know, it's raw ingredients. So in data, these are collection of uh, me meaningless um, content, like let's say, for example, uh, a sequence of strings, let's say A, A, B, 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 five, or maybe a series of numbers like 50, 30, 15, 16. <clears throat> that has no context or wala pang ibig sabihin or wala pang meaning. And usually, these are unorganized facts. Ibig sabihin po, hindi pa siya na-filter, hindi pa siya na-modify, and the likes. And after you modify, after you process that raw data, kumbaga po halimbawa, um, kapag nahalo mo na yung, yung mga bawang, kamati, sibuyas sa niluluto mo, when you process it, tapos nilagay mo na yung iba pang mga rekado, iba pang mga ingredients na kailangan sa lulutuin mo, no? makakabuo ka ng isang uh, dish, no? isang food. So, in computer, it's like data and information. Data are raw facts. No? So, halimbawa, kakainin mo ba ng hilaw ang sibuyas at bawang? Hindi naman, di ba? So, you need to process that. So, after you process that at isinama mo siya, Iprinases mo siya, inorganize mo siya with other ingredients, then you have or you will you will have a meaningful a meaningful output, no? It, um, and in in computer or in, in information processing system, that's what we call information, no? So and and yung prosesa kung paano mo siya inorganize is what we call data processing. Usually, data processing is a sequence of steps. So a sequence of steps known as algorithm. Ulitin ko po, a sequence of steps known as algorithm. Computers as machine usually follows instructions from the user. And that's what we call 
uh, the the step by step process is what we call algorithm. So just like what when when you have a, a recipe, no. So hindi mo pwedeng unahin yung pagigisa kung hindi mo pinihiwa yung mga igigisa mo. Hindi rin pwede na ma, na mauna ang paglagay ng uh, let's say for example ng seasoning ng instant pancit canton kung hindi mo pa nilalaga yung o hindi mo pa uh, nilalaga yung mga noodles no Hala, hindi mo pwedeng lagay yung hindi mo pwedeng unahin na lagyan ng lagyan ng seasoning tapos tsaka ilagay o tsaka pakuluan sa tubig no so you have the sequence of steps for you to be able to finish your goal and lastly if you have uh if you have a let's say for example an oven toaster to you to toast uh your bread we have computer to do the information processing cycle it is that it is the machine an electronic machine that follows those series of steps as i have mentioned um this algorithm is being um uh, being sent to the computer para po mas ma, mas ma kuha niya or mas ma, ma, mag, magawa niya yung goal na gusto mo no? so it follows the set of instructions in order that it may be able to accept and gather data and transform this information and for you to visually uh to visually see this process here uh let me just show you how this uh how this definition works so we have data data processing and information so here from data from an um, um in uh, con, uh raw ingredients that like strings series of text series of numbers with no context we will process that in a economy in a computer using using a series of steps and after a series of steps we can provide a relevant output an organized output out of your information so let me give you an example so an example of data is five zero or fifty 50 has no meaning, it has no context. But when we try to process data, let's say for example, we put a person, uh, uh, let, let, we put a um, peso sign on that 50 pesos. Kung baga parang yung bawang sibuyas nilagyan mo ng mantika, no? ginisa mo sa mantika. So it will form a different meaning. No? So kung nilagyan mo ng 50, magiging siyang 50 pesos na, na maaari natin ilagay or i-connect as a price of a certain food or maybe a certain product no yung 50 pwede mo ding ilagay sa uh, sa uh, other series of strings let's say 50 um robredo street manila uh, robredo street tondo manila so yung 50 becomes a number or i mean the house number no so and so on and so forth as long as we include or we organize or isinama natin siya with other data we can produce information okay and as a test using your it week one material please complete the chart by supplying appropriate data in the cells by and uh, by listening to this slide uh, by listening to this video so first let's see uh the idea on how you will answer that chart we'll start first with the idea of input so input accepts and gather data so this is data no so let's say for example uh bawang sibuyas kamatis that's your data no so that's your input no so uh there are several hardwares that uh that accept input no so uh, on your on your uh, IT Week One material, there's one one. Uh, the first question is an uh, uh, the first uh, item sa input ay banana. So now think of uh, the think of any idea or think of any concept that you will supply on each cells. We'll start with banana. And the next one is processing. So from a raw banana, what processes you can do what processes um pwede mong gawin sa banana for it to become an information and after that we have the storage or or where you can store no so yung saging halimbawa saan mo siya pwedeng ilagay for it to be uh, when you will present it as an information no and lastly 
the process banana or the process data is what we call output. You know? So on your IT week one material, you will answer um, a series of um, cells where you will think of any idea na sa tingin nyo po ay aakmat doon sa bawat process, input, storage, and output ng mga nakikita nyo po. Think of it as, again, as a raw ingredient, a process raw ingredient that can be stored when, when resulted or when, when, it, when that organized data can now be presented to its, your target audience. So technically, usually output are information while input are data. Okay, and that's for our first uh, first part of our discussion for today. So please click the next video dito po sa bandang um, ko kayo po ay nasa screen ka kanan kanan ng yung screen dito po sa dito po sa kanan ng yung screen para po sa susunod na video